The e-learning industry is booming at the moment. According to Forbes magazine, the e-learning industry will be worth $465 billion by the year 2028. Now, that's a lot of billions. And what are you doing as a small business owner to be part of those billions of dollars? In this video, I'm going to share with you a platform that I use for myself and my clients to build out our courses. Now, you can have a course or a membership in your business, depending on what type of business you've got. Now, what's the difference? A course is once off, you sell your information, and a membership ideally is a carry-on situation. For example, they pay monthly, say $100 a month, and you share with them, I don't know, gardening knowledge, knitting, etc., and this means that every week or every month you update your videos, where a course is just once off. And of course, you can update that as well. Hopefully, you choose to have a combination of both the course and the membership because the course, you can sell the information once off. And then the membership is ongoing videos and content to help your learners in whatever industry you are in. So let me dive into this and share my screen with you and show you how you build out a course in Goha level. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Nicholson, and this channel is about providing you with tips and tricks to grow your business and your mindset. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for more videos like this in the future. So let me share my screen with you and I'll show you what it is to build out your course within Go High Level. You will see on the left hand side here, there is sites and memberships. So now previously, memberships used to live under sites, but Gaha Level has made a very big change and it's a very awesome change. And this is a video for another day where you now have a client portal. But let's dive into memberships specifically. Now, memberships have different options. So on the top there, you will see courses and under courses is dashboard, products, offers, analytics and settings. Now, this is the first thing that you're going to see. This is my tutorial account, and I've done this specifically so you can understand how it looks for you doing it for the very first time. Now, under all of these things, the first thing that you need to do is you need to create your product. When you create your product on the top right hand side, there is a button that says new product. And now you have to decide what is this product that you are going to sell. Are you going to sell a sprint course, a marathon, a membership, and build your own? Now, I'm not going to dive into all of these, but let's just use membership as an example so we're going to say start building this membership and i'm just going to say membership start create product now it's creating this product now this is basically how it looks like and you've got your product structure which is broken into categories and then under categories you've got different things so let's just say category let's just call this um, nature living i'm just making things up as i go so just bear with me okay so let's call that na nature living and then on the end here, you'll see this is now where you've created this and you can move it around as well if you'd like. So now we said nature living. Now, once you have that, you have different options within that. You can add a lesson, you can add a subcategory, or you can add an assessment. Now, assessment is also pretty new. You might have followed me for a while and I'll have another video on Go High Level where I did share memberships, but this is all brand new and it's very exciting how Go High Level actually builds out and creates things every other week just about. So it's very, very awesome updates that they've shared with us. So let's say we we'll start with lesson. Let's just say lesson one um, tip on I don't know, green grass. I'm really just making this up as I go. Okay. So now you've got your tip on green grass. What's the next thing you want to do? Well, you actually want to create a subcategory. So let's call this grass. Okay. Now you can see what it does here. And this is exactly why I'm doing this step by step. So you can understand the different things that you've got. So in this lesson on grass, maybe, well, you want to call it, I don't know, why do you have yellow grass? Bear with me. I can be weird with my content. Okay. Why do you have yellow grass? So you can see now how this looks like. Now, if I'm going to go make sure that it's published as well. And if I go preview, let's see how this looks like. So it says nature living, grass, and then no content. But you can understand how it goes. So obviously, there's no content because you have to put content inside it, right? So now the next thing that we want to look into here is add an assessment. So assessment is basically where you assign this to your students. You can do assignment or you're going to do a quiz. So let's just say um, yellow testing grass. And then let's just call it a quiz. And then you save that. So now it's going to give you that information and then the quiz created. In here, there's like this quiz. You can say, okay, this quiz has a passing grade. The passing grade needs to be 95%. Maybe you're teaching people to 
big landscape of, I don't know. All right. And now this is where you create this quiz inside. Now I'm not going to go into the details. I'm just showing you everything that the system has to offer, which is actually bloody cool. So I'm just going to say test, 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 blah, 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 blah. And now you're going to say file confirmation message. So this is basically when you say, when they pass, you like, say, okay, congratulations. And then over here is like, um, oops, try again. Okay, or whatever that looks like. And then you obviously save this and you can add questions and all of that stuff. So question one is, oh, I don't know. Question one is single choice. Um, why options on yellow grass? Okay, I'm not going to go into more details because there's so much more I want to cover in this. But this is basically the idea. You understand what you need to do. You add this as an option. You add it as a choice. Da, 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 da. The system is pretty much self-explanatory. You can just figure it out. And if not, go high level, have a whole entire help section that can help you with all of this stuff. And also on the top right side there, you have a question mark. And the question mark is live chats, priority support, all of those things. So there's lots of options to help you out when you get stuck. Okay. Just so I can preview this for you guys. And then that's how it's going to look like. You start your quiz, and then the quiz is basically option one, option two, blah, blah, blah. So it's very cool. So you don't just have at the end of that, what, I, what I'm showing you, the quiz option is that because you want to quiz people, right? If if that's the type of course that you're doing. And it's not just about giving content, but this is also a way for people to understand, well, you taught me about cross what is you know do i actually know enough to start my own business with bike cross or what is that thing that you are teaching them so the next thing that you want to know as well in here is how do you upload videos and course content and all of that stuff so that's just where you click into the actual lesson when you created it here you upload the video it's not going to be like a vimeo or a youtube link it's an actual upload of your video now i've never seen myself having issues with uploading long videos but then again, personally, I like to keep my content short and condensed, the same with my clients. Um, I never recommend more than 10 minutes because of the attention span of humans. We're like goldfish. We don't have a lot of it. So it's easier enough to just upload the video and, you know, keep it short. So my point to say there is not, I haven't seen any limit on the length of the video. And then on the here, you select your category. So depending on the category that you've got, you select the video over there. And in the body, let's just say, uh, I don't know, this is about yellow grass. Okay. And then over here on the right hand side, you've got publish. And then this is where you have your thumbnail. So you upload your thumbnail there and then you add your files. Now, this is very cool when it comes to add files because personally, and this is what I recommend. And if you reach out to me, I might have some resources for you for free, depending on when you actually watch this video. But um, adding files is very, very important, especially if it's workbooks, PDF documents, you have maybe some check checklists, all of those type of things. It really helps to engage your course user to complete your course. So adding files is very, very awesome because it will help your course users to say, oh, I'm not actually just watching this video or I'm not just doing this quiz. I have a tangible thing that I can take away. I can print it out. That's going to help me in my business or whatever you are teaching, right? And then you save this this thing now on the end of the day this is the best option that you can do for your learners right is give them this course content and then let them use it you know forwards in their life whatever okay so now the next thing that you want to do is now you've got all of these content built out you've got your videos you've got your sheets you've got all the things that you need and by the way canva is a great resource to go in there or a great platform to go in there and create your resources for your course. You can do workbooks, checklists, all of that stuff. And I think it's like 10 or $15 a month for Canva. I paid for the year, so I don't remember the monthly fee. But Canva is a great place to start to create your resources because it is so much that you can do. It also has workbooks, all of that stuff. Okay, so if you're not sure, you're not a professional designer, Canva is a great way to start, especially if you maybe don't have the funds to get a designer to do this all for you. And then under outline, okay, that was the outline, right? So under details, you say, okay, this is the description about this. You really have to keep this one liner. Okay, keep it very short and brief. Let's just say teaching about yellow, about, um, I don't know, healthy grass. Okay. 
And then this is your thumbnail. So this is the main course thumbnail. All right, I'm not going to select things now, but this is basically the concept. You understand that. And then the customization is very cool. So here you've got three different options. You've got classic, New York, and you've got new, if I pronounce that correctly. So I like, personally, I like to have the classic one. I guess I'm just a classic person. But at the end of the day, you can choose whichever option is better for you. So let's just go with this one. I'm going to say apply. This is how your course is going to look like. And you can see it's got previous days. So it shows you the different things. And this is what you choose then, okay. So now let's go back. The next button here you have is offers. Now I won't be able to show you offers because you need your Stripe connected. This is my tutorial account, so there's no Stripe on this one. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You just put the amount in, you connect it to Stripe and bam, box your uncle, you're ready to go. Okay, it's very simple. Then you've got comments. Now this is the different things here. This is obviously the membership start is the product that we're doing. And then the instructor, public or both. So you can make it so both public and and public is basically meaning it's not the public in the world it's the public that is on your your course here it's the people that has actually bought your course so you can make it so people are actually viewing your content or like viewing your comments as a user or if it's just um the instructor okay personally i like both because then you can see comments except if you're brand new and you're a little bit concerned that people might be mean with you then you can make it uh, you can make it instructor only, but it's nice because then you can see people, you know, commenting on each other's things and you can see what's the problem, if there's any problems. Um, and then you can just see this is the comments that it's there, hidden, you can hide them, you can lock them, you can enable them, all of that stuff. All right. And that's basically the gist of how you upload that. Now, at the end of the day, you also want to make your course look pretty. So how do you make your course look pretty? You will see under the art line there. Oh, sorry, under a customization there, we are going to click on customize, okay? When you click on customize, on the left-hand side here, you have your membership start. Now this here, that one liner, this is what I said, like you really have to keep it short because it shows it there. Now I'm not gonna go into the crazy details on this because this, this here can take you a good hour to set up if you do it correctly. And it is just about creating assets that is brand related to your business. Yes, brand related. Don't make your course pink if your branding is blue. Okay. Keep your colors the same. Keep your fonts the same. Because at the end of the day, you want your course to shout your brand. Right. Keep it the same. And then you've got your theme colors here. You've got, say, that's red. We're going to apply red. You've got your header. Let's say that's that font. Secondary font is Lato. Then you select whatever that is that you want to do. Let's keep it red. Um, let's keep that red. You can create an image. I'm just going to do that for now. Okay, so that's fine. And that won't work, by the way, because the... The sizing of that is all wrong, but let's just use it for this example. And it tells you the size. It says 1,280 times 720. The beautiful thing about Canva is that it has that, like all of it in there. You can customize your sizing all the way through. So you can see now over here, it says red. Um, personally, I would not use red, by the way. It's not a very good color to read, especially at night when it comes to fonts. But I'll just use this as an example. So you can see here, let's make it blue. And then you can save the changes. And then it's going to turn into blue. And that's then the colors of your membership. Now you can add your logo here. And then obviously this is how, look, this is what people see when I first look at your course. Okay. And then there is your header. You end up your background, your hero picture, all of these things. Guys, I'm not going to go into the details. There's a lot here. And like I said, I don't want to sit here for a whole hour explaining this to you. But what you need to do is you just go through this, you play with it. It shows you the preview on the right-hand side. So you know what you're busy doing. And at the end of the day, this is going to be the thing that people see when they buy your course. So you really need it to make it look, look good. And then obviously when it comes to lesson on the top right here, where it says product, that's the product that you're selling. And then the lesson information, this is then the background, if you want to make it white or blue or whatever. Personally, I'll just keep it simple. You don't want to have crazy logo colors or, you know, just crazy backgrounds behind your content. You want to keep it simple. I just go for plain white because at the end of the day, you don't want anything that distracts them from, from the viewing your lessons. Then the lesson body is, again, it's the same as your content colors. It's your your fonts, all of those things. Yes, course navigation. It's, it's all of these different things. You have colors and fonts and you can customize it 100% to your brand, which is amazing. 
and then you can just save those changes and that's basically it that's your theme and then obviously if this is your new theme you apply this you save that and you can use this again for future reference and then if you preview this it's going to look crazy because i did it all weirdly but this is then um ah oh, i didn't save that other picture but this is anyway so this is how it is so you can see the colors it's just plain it's white and you can start your membership and this is where it looks crazy but you get what i'm saying so you just play with it you see how it looks like and if you're not sure how to do all of this as our, in our agency we actually do build out courses for people so you can just comment below or reach out to me at support at unleashyourmarketing.co and we will be glad to assist and help you but that's basically it this is how you set up your course using go high level and if you need any more information on this, please do not hesitate to contact us. But for now, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And I will see you in the next video.